Hi crafters, Muriel here with some of the hauls I wanted to show you that I've done within the week. Uh, it started out last Saturday while we were at the retreat. Um, a lady friend there and I went to Hobby Lobby and she was looking for um, lots of Christmas stuff and I was just kind of going up and down the aisle but yet who can't find anything at Hobby Lobby? So let me show you what I picked up. I just want to kind of get this stuff to show you if you're interested. If not, then you can just hit the delete button and move on. But um, first of all, I got this um, Lawn Fawn set a couple weeks ago from Tracy over at Art Attack Supplies. I'm going to make some Christmas cards. Love this. I've seen it on... Um, Laura's channel is just real cute. It's all Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Let It Snow, Happy Holidays kind of stamp. So very, very different. I love the swirlies. So that's something I'm going to be using. And while I was at Hobby Lobby, I picked up these stickers. Now, I really don't care for stickers. I have to tell you, at the retreat, there was a table of free stuff and stuff you can sell. And I ended up making somewhere in like $55 selling a bunch of stickers, the uh, bookcase it came in, and a bunch of other stuff. So I was really, really happy about that. But these cards that I'm making, they needed that mm, and I had to go back and get some stickers. I've used three of them, but these are by Stickabilities. And also, the stickers were, um, I think, Paper Studio was 50% off. So, let's um, widen this a little, right? So, here's a traditional red and green. Just a whole bunch of little sayings. And then the winter one with the let it snow, snowflakes, snowball fight, etc., etc. Um, spare parts. Like I said, um, Paper Studio. So I just got these cute little roses. I got a Sizzic die by a Thinlet um, that says uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I thought that would be fun. Okay, this metal is probably about four inches maybe. So it would be cute on a tag, right? Okay, get this over here. Some keys, um, one of my Christmas ornaments, I've, I'm using a lot of keys painting them, so I just wanted to replenish, and some um, gears. And I got these because the friend I was with wanted to do a project using some gears, and um, I also came home and took her my die so that she can cut some out, but I kind of saw these and thought they were really cute for some masculine pages or cards. Um, just picked up these charms, let it snow, let it snow. Um, I need to get busy making my purse charm for um, Christmas, but I think I'm going to make that on Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving morning, my daughter and I are going to get up and going to do this thing called the turkey trot, which is like a three-mile walk run. And then we go over to our friend's house, and they bring knitting and crocheting, and I think that's when I'm going to make my purse charm. So pick that up. And then um, paper pads were... Uh, I think they were 50% off. I'm not sure, but this is one that I used last year, and I love it. I didn't have the paper pad. I just had a couple of sheets, but I love this winter look. And then I also found this craft molding mat. It was funny because a couple of weeks ago, Arlene did a video showing um, how she's able to clear her um, dies that are really intricate. So here's a die. You know, one like this. Very intricate. Once you cut it out, the papers get stuck. So she used a certain kind of mat. I'm not sure if it was this one, but this is a craft molding mat, and you can see what it does. It'll, uh, using this tool, it will um, curl up your flowers. But I thought it was the same cushiony mat, whereas you could lay your die with the paper in it down, use one of these tools, which is right here, right? And you go over it through the back and it will loosen up the die so that the papers will come out and then your cutout is present. So this was at Hobby Lobby for $5.99. And then I just got a couple of sheets of, um, they have some beautiful um, glitter paper and I got brown, gold, red, and white. Okay. And lastly, some more Bow Bunny paper. This is the Slay collection. 18 sheets, double-sided double -sided paper, and you can kind of see um, the designs on them. Really pretty. I love the wood grain. I love the trees. Just love that look. And then it has this sticker sheet. Okay, so that was my Hobby Lobby that I did 
at the crop. And of course, when I was um, at the retreat, when I was there, I had to show it because those ladies were quite interesting. Um, let me just show you really quick. I went to a store called Hancock Fabric. Uh, which is right next door to Tuesday morning and I was looking for some fabric to make some cards and use as Christmas projects so I found this fat quarters I guess that's what you call them okay of uh, these Christmas patterns which I'm ecstatic about and then I also picked up one in um, this cream color and I'm gonna and I have some white and I'm gonna use these for some cards that I'm gonna make they're 18 inches and I'm just gonna cut them and then rip them so that the edges are fray and then uh, while I was there she was having a sale for seniors on this set of uh, scissors these are ultra sharp and when I say ultra sharp they start cutting at the very tip right and they're just really good so I've already taken one out to use here in the uh, craft room and um, they're going to be for fabric only but they are really sharp and it was 50% off if you were a senior 50 years or older so I got them for seven dollars so I was happy about that now when I heard about Hobby Lobby oh my gosh I mean not Hobby Lobby um Tuesday morning that Wednesday I think I trottled all over there and there was still lots of stuff there was stuff in the carts in the aisle like they just couldn't didn't have enough time to put it up so anyway here's what I got I found this stamp this is going to be like a snow stamp it's by Hampton Arts and I'm just ecstatic about it okay I picked up two of these American craft adhesive layer embellishments I love working with stuff like this my Christmas cards this year are strictly last two years ago paper and embellishments that I've had for eons so Hopefully they'll be gone this year and then I can chop into these next year. Um, I got some Christmas bags, which typically I like to make my own bags, but these were the perfect size. I love this green and red handle. And in the event that I'm not able to make bags, if time runs out, I'll have some bags. These are the perfect size for putting in a card and a ornament, which I am like, um, you know, over the top with my ornaments that I'm making so I got those I picked this up this is just an ephemera pack and it was only 99 cents but um, again I love stuff like this it's by Jelly Bean it's from the mixed the media collection and it has some really cute buttons some metal embellishments these are denim banners of all things right and it's by Hampton Art Hampton Arts and it just has a bunch of um circle cutouts um grid sheets so it's just a mixture of stuff again 99 cents to really you know take a card to another level okay I picked up the graphic 45 clean set this is Christmas I love it it's called uh, Night Before Christmas, and I love that Santa. How vintage is that? There's a postal postage stamp there that says North Pole. There is a bunch of kids in pajamas and, you know, marching up and down. And then this uh, stamp says, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. So love that. And then there's a border here of hollies and berries. So they had another one for Easter, but I'm so not ready for Easter right now. Staying on the Graphic 45 train, I picked up two of these metal clothespins. Remember, timeless, create, and unique. Love, love. These are normally $7. I think they were 3 Um, I picked up these here by American Craft. They're called Jingle Mint. Just some stars. Be cute on a package. Right? Or pop it inside a card. And, um, I think this was a Hobby Lobby, but I got some more of these glitter stars. Right? Okay, put that over there. Um, I picked up three paper pads. I could not believe it. I found three paper pads. These I probably will not crack into next year. I'm really going, um, trying to focus on some paper pads from last year that I have like a couple of sheets. I just need to use them. But this one here is Jolly by American Craft. I don't know if you saw it, but you can see um, what it looks like here. Some beautiful wintry pages. Not a lot of red and green, but the red and green has the blue thrown in it, which I love, and the brown. This one by um, Crate Paper is called Peppermint. Again, has the browns. It does have the red, green, peppermint pages, um, ornaments page, sheets, excuse me. And then this one is the Merry and Bright. Again, love it. It has that black thrown in there. It has um, chevrons and um, polka dots and herringbone and 
stripes and crosses and you know, these black trees cute and then music sheet paper so love 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 glad I laid my eyes on those two alteration dies by Tim Holtz I picked up this one is a different one it's called cobblestone so that's going to be real interesting to see how that pans out I'm gonna have to look up and see how that was used and then this one here which is called ribbon flags okay so they they cut out individually so how perfect is that you can just cut these flags out. You don't no longer have to make those um, tail fish tails at the bottom. You can just use this die. So those were good. I got two of these tags. So so cute. They just need a little bit more stuff done to them. I think either throw some glitter, some flowers, some kind of embellishment to take them to another level. And you can kind of see on the back. Or you know what, ladies, you can also use these if you want to do a tag album, like Twenty Five Days of Christmas this would be great to use. So I did get two. Again, they may pop out next year. Um, and then I got these tags by American Craft Do It Yourself. And these are all um, newsprint, newsprint tags. But a lot of my cards that I'm making this year have tags on them. Isn't that interesting? So um, you'll see, I'll show you some of them um, after I do this video. So I picked those up. And then lastly, I got some of these envelope wraps, which I was so excited to see. But let me tell you, last year at Ben Franklin, I picked up these envelope wraps, right? They were $2.49 at Ben Franklin and I held them until now. And I knew I wanted to use them on my cards. Um, so um, I was pleased when I saw these by um, We Are Memory Keepers as well. So I got two of the classic. Very, very cute. I love that decorate the box. I love decorating the uh, envelope. And then this one was a vintage kind. So it was just a wonderful um, haul at Tuesday morning if you got a chance to um, take advantage of it. So then I have one more that I want to show you that I did at Michael's, which is the ultimate ultimate um <laughs> which i was really happy about so thanks again for watching everyone have a great day bye now